A so-called unauthorized passenger forces a plane to turn around after four hours in the air. Federal investigators now looking into what they're calling the flight to nowhere, which had a Hollywood couple on board. As Don Daler tells us, supermodel Chrissy Teigen documented the whole ordeal to her 9 million Twitter followers. Hey guys, Chrissy Teigen here reporting live from LAX. Supermodel Chrissy Teigen documented all of Nippon Airways Flight 175's eight-hour trip from LAX back to LAX. Thank you so much for taking me on this awesome vacation, babe. Welcome to Los Angeles. She and her husband, actor and musician John Legend, were on the flight to Tokyo before it was forced to turn around. The plane left LAX at around 11.30 a.m. It was roughly four hours into an 11 and a half hour flight when the pilot made a U-turn. At 7.30 p.m., the plane was back in Los Angeles. After all this, I will have spent eight hours on a flight to nowhere, Tegan tweeted. In a statement to CBS News, ANA said the cabin crew became aware that one of the passengers boarded the incorrect flight. As part of the airline security procedure, the pilot in command decided to return to the originating airport. Whether or not there was an unauthorized passenger remains unclear. A spokesperson for LAX police told CBS News there were no security breaches and there was no unauthorized passenger. I've never seen people walk around with like a clicker and like click people. Naomi Kamadate said things on the plane seemed off when the flight attendant started manually counting passengers. She said she had to turn to the Internet and to Tegan's tweets for answers. We shouldn't have had to Google what was going on and for us to read an article about us. The FBI says no arrests have been made and the investigation continues. Passengers tell CBS News that the crew was apologetic and equally upset by the turnaround. One traveler told us he was missing the first day of his honeymoon and that all he was getting back for it was a brief hotel stay or a $200 credit. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.